So in this video, we will be looking at swords that deserves to be nerfed, or buffed. The first sword will be Saber. And I think it deserve a tiny little buff. I mean sure it has the highest damage out of all swords, but that's only if you are really close to your enemies. The damage of Saber with long range is not very high, so you will still need a fruit to support this sword and help you get closer to your enemies. Saber could benefit a lot from a buff in range like Dark Blade. Up next we got the Coco Sword. And this one also deserves a buff. The second skill is very useful, and you can use it at the end of your combos. But the first skill has a short range for a dash skill, which is quite a hassle. This is like Shizu, but with shorter range, and higher knockback. You can make up for the range by using control, but that makes the sword dependent on a fruit as well. A range buff could possibly make this sword a lot better as well. The third sword would be Spiky Trident. And I think it's a fair sword, not necessarily needing a nerf, or buff. You can basically use this sword to pull, and push players away, making it a great support sword. You can easily counter this with Observation Hacky, so it's not really that overpowered. Not to mention, you can use this sword to swing around the map, giving you a lot of mobility. And of course, last but not the least we've got Cursed Dual Katana. This sword can get nerfed and still be an S-tier sword. You'll find almost everyone using this sword, which is why it needs a nerf. I just joined the server and literally everyone was using this sword lol. What other sword should we feature next? Comment it down below. Thank you for watching, and don't forget to subscribe. Goodbye.